Good morning everyone, this is Kama and I am about to go back to my childhood home. I'm so excited. I have not been to Red Hills in over 30 years. So I'm really excited to see what it's like. So we're at the foot of the hills now from the direction of Meadowbrook Estate. And um, a little bit of traffic. It's a Saturday morning, so everybody's out trying to get their shopping done and going to the market and supermarkets and stuff. So we are approaching the foot of the hill. As you can see in the distance, those lovely mountains. These are the hills that I use. These are the, those are the foothills of the Blue Mountains. Um, so those would be part of the Long Mountain Range and the foothills of the Blue Mountains. And these are the hills I would be looking at, you know, coming, coming down on the bus, coming to school and going back up. I would really be lost in the beauty of these hills. So I'm anxious to see what the hill is going to show me today. So guys, I have not been to this place in over 30 years. That's a long, mighty long time. So. Here we have, right at the foot of the hill, we used to call this, um, this is where we used to stand up to beg ride, as we would call it. You go to the foot of the hill and you stand up because the, the, the bus system, the 33 bus was so terrible. You know, you could hardly get a bus and so it was a regular thing for us to go to the foot of the hill, stand up and wait. For, and we didn't even know, most times you didn't even know who you, was get, you, you were getting a ride from. You just um, stick out your hand and hope somebody stop and offer you a ride up the hill. And this is for students as well as adults, you know, going to work. It was a regular thing for us to do. Thinking back, you know, you realize how dangerous that was. But almost everybody did it because the next option was to stand at the bus stop and wait for hours and hours and hours before you got a bus. Or having to walk up this very hill that I'm going up now. All the way from the foot of the hill to the top of the hill. I live at, I grew up at the top of the hill that's Red Hills. A lot of construction has taken place since I last ca came here. You can see all these huge mansions, really. You know, very wealthy area we're passing through. Very affluent area, this. So behind these hills would be, to the, to the left of here would be um, Belvedere or what we call Bottom Belvedere and um, Lee's Flat a little further up, Sterling Castle, we're going to pass through those areas, most of which you know are, are affluent. So here we have Queen's Hill, Queen Hill. And this road here now coming up would would take you to to um, Plantation Heights and further to Bottom Belvedere as we would call it. Now if you look up in the up in the hills you see a lot of construction taking place. These are huge <laughs> these are huge mansions guys. I think I might have to come back up here to live. 
I think I might have to find someone to buy me a mansion up here. Lovely place as I remember it. Look at these lush hills. You know, this is this is why I'm always going on about red hills, red hills, red hills. Such a natural place, so lush and beautiful. Just as I remembered it. So this is Lee's flat on the right. Look at those lush green trees. The thing about the, the, these roads though, you know, it's up in the hills so you know the roads can get very crooked. They are winding and crooked and you really have to be careful. Get that view. No, wait, wait, wait. Get, get that view. Look behind us. Yeah, I'm seeing. <laughs> when we're coming back down. When we're, when we're coming back down, we'll get that side. <laughs> so this is East Kirkland Heights up ahead to the right East Kirkland Heights oh I remember all these places Crystal Tomlinson West Rural St. Andrew that's the MP So why I'm always carrying on about nature and stuff. This is what I grew up amongst. All of this, these trees. See, you see this corner, this is a very um, dangerous corner. Some of these, the, the sections of this road, very dangerous, you have to be careful. And you can imagine coming down these these roads on a 33 bus at that time we call it the jolly bus you know huge bus and very overcrowded usually sometimes to the point where people were hanging from the doors of the bus very dangerous but somehow we found a way so this is forest way um forest hills region and we're heading up now to Sterling Castle we're going to pass the intersection to Sterling Castle this is Kirkland Heights on the right we have Kirkland Heights This mansion here, oh my, I need to find someone to buy me one of these mansions. On the right, we have the road going to Padmore and Sterling Castle. And now we're approaching Lookout, which was a favorite spot for us to just go and you'd, you'd have a wonderful, breathtaking view of the city. I think I'm going to stop for two minutes when I get there and just take in the view straight ahead. This is Pleasant Valley. Looking down in the valley, that's so beautiful. Oh. Yeah, when we get to look out, look out yeah, or, or maybe on the way back down, we can stop. No, there. stop us, you know. Oh, that's cool. 
I remember this shop we used to stop there and buy bag juice. Suck suck when we're walking up the hills because sometimes we had to walk from the foot of the hill from the foot of the hill all the way up to the top of Red Hills. I wish the trees weren't in there. We had to walk all that way. You can see a part of the view now. We're heading up heading up to look out. Oh my look at that gorgeous view. Wait, can we stop there for a second? Why is it too late? Quite nice area. Where the port? Where's that turn up on the port? Yeah, so when we get to look out we'll stop. The same side are even better. And see all of that view. You can just imagine in the night what this looks like with all the lights of the city. Yes, I look out. Yeah, this is Lookout. Um, the entrance to Golden Acre. So we can stop here for a sec. Go down this hour. You can? Go down this hour. Yeah, you can go. We, we would be going further up the road. We look out there. Eh? This is Lookout. And we're going to continue. Yeah, we know that's the way I go. Mm. So what is it saying you should do? Well, I must go around. Go around him. Okay, so we're gonna have a look. One of my favorite spots. Okay. So this is look out and you can see why it's called that. So I'm, we're going to show you. The, the trees are so lush and beautiful. Come up this side. Hello. just so excited to be back in this place and seeing <laughs> seeing the lovely view look at that you can just imagine in the night what this looks like now look at that mansion up in the hills look right across look at these two construction going on huge my goodness no these trees are really blocking the view I mean when I was here as a child you could see much more through the foliage I see some wires here let me be careful don't know if there are live wires so it's breathtaking really breathtaking but the trees they shouldn't allow the trees to block the view like that i mean <laughs> it's so gorgeous careful of those wires we don't know if they're alive or what The trees are blocking the view really. They shouldn't allow the they shouldn't allow all these trees to grow up like that.
Ready to go back? Ready? Huh? Ready to continue? We're ready to continue. <laughs> the house is no longer there, but I'm going to where it used to be. I had to read it for the reading competition. Where are you going in like 1980? I don't remember. But it was after my time. They're really, the trees really blocking the view though. They allow the trees here to come up too much. 今日は11月7日日曜日です。カップルカウンターなんで。ETCカードが挿入されていません。Oh, oh, I thought it was ready. All right, we're continuing on our way. We're continuing on our way up the hill. You can tell that this area gets lots of rain. You know, it's so lush and beautiful. The wall alone looks like a million dollars. <laughs> the wall alone. <laughs> oh my god. Just the wall. Just to get the stone in So this is Mosquito Valley. Big I sign put up that. right now. Oh my. Why is it called that? I don't know. <laughs> that's, I'm, I'm gonna knock it. That's how I always know it as Mosquito Valley. <laughs> uh, very close now to the square. Um, so this used to be the main shopping center in Red Hills. That's where the supermarket is. Still have a grocery store there. And the police station is now down here. The police station used to be further up, closer to the All Aid School. So this is the new police station, new for me because I haven't been here in quite a while. And Red Hills Public Sanitary Convenience, okay then. Alright, so this is Red Hills Square, but we're actually going to go a little further up the road to where my all aid school used to be. Um, I understand it's now a primary school, no longer Red Hills All Age. This is Mass V's shop. I wonder if he's still there. No, I didn't plan to stop. And this is another shop. Look like they're turning to something else now. So this is Burnside Hill, the road leading up to Burnside Hill. 
and Walker's Hill. All right, so going around the corner, heading up to where the Methodist Church and the All Aid School. And where the police station used to be. All right, so when I get to the Okay, so we, we can stop here. So that's my stop old here. school. We can stop anywhere off here. This is my old school. Oh my God. The oh, gate no. is open. You think they'll let you go? Look that's what it. I'm wondering. So this is what we call Top Belvedere. The entrance. And I'm going to show you around for a bit. I'm going to see if we can go. All right, so the police station used to be up that hill. You remember I showed you the police station just now, the new police station is um, at the square, at Red Hill Square. I'm wondering what's in there now, what they use it for now. I'm wondering, so that's the old police station. And this is my old school. Red Hills All, it was Red Hills All Aid School. I don't know, I don't think it's still being used. Ren, we're not sure if we can go. Let, let's uh, call, call him. So these are the graves that we used to play among. Yeah. These are the graves that we used to play among. And the old school building. Hi. Do you know if this is still used as a school? What is it used for now? Nothing? Where's the new school? Down the hill or further up the road? Down the hill? Oh. Are we allowed to go up? Okay. So it's just the church churchyard now. Okay. Okay guys, so that's my old school apparently. It's no longer functioning as a school. I remember standing on that um, that wall, you know. In the mornings we used to stand on the wall and look down into the valley here. play on those graves you know and walk and sometimes even sit and eat lunch on those graves and I remember the, the vendors used to set up their stalls among the, the tombs have their little stalls and we would go and buy lunch so the Red Hills primary school is now located I was just told further down the road from here but in my heart, this will always be Red Hills All Age that I attended. He's coming. He said he's parked in the road. Oh, all right, we can. No, we can go because I don't think she said we can't go in. Why? Um, I don't know, but the thing is, it's no longer functioning as a school. 
There's a Methodist church up there. No, it's no longer functioning as a school. They have relocated down the road. So we can turn back, go to the square, and then we're going to walk down into the valley, right? Or we want to drive into the valley. It's so, steep. I think we better walk. <laughs> Are we going to your old house? The house has been demolished, but we're going to where it was. So far, the water there. Just a few chains. So you can turn back. How long? Was that over? No, no, no. About 10 minutes. Who wants to walk for 10 minutes in this heat? <laughs> you don't want to see where your mother grew up? That's not the problem. <laughs> so I have two of my children with me and I'm showing them you know where I grew up because I'm always singing about this place you know I never shut up about Red Hills so it's good that they can come and see what mama has been yapping about all these years <laughs> So we're going back down now to the square and we're going to stop and just walk down into Pekian Valley where I lived. The house has been demolished. That um, wooden pink house that I grew up in has been demolished but you know, still good to go and see where it was and what's there now. Okay, so we're going to turn right. Turn this right. is that's the gas station where they held the, the, the um. Turn right, is it? Yeah, they held up the manager <laughs> right across from. Here we have. We can park over at the post office, the old post office. We can park right there. I'm guessing we can still park there. Pecan Valley, that's the sign. It's just down that.